everybody, it's Kay. I'm here today with my Chic Beauty Box, and this is from July, August of 2024. I didn't get it until September, um, the first week of September. Um, I think they had a little bit of trouble this past time. Um, there was trouble with um, the choices, so I actually jumped on the choices right away. And then a couple of weeks ago, I got another message to to do choices so I was like I don't know I because it comes every other month I just sort of was confused and I didn't know what was going on so I sort of I rechose and then I realized that that knocked out some choices I'd previously made so I wasn't really sure what I was going to end up with so let's see what I did get so um there was an eyeshadow palette that you could have chosen the Lancome one, or there was one by uh, Clarins, or you could have gotten the Lancome, uh, like a blush. Okay, so the first time I chose the Clarins, which I got, and then the second time that was no longer available, and I had to go for a Lancome blush, and that it's not what I ended up getting. So I got this Clarins four color eyeshadow palette and this is considered the nude shade. Yes, 01 nude. And this is a $43 value. So this is really pretty and I really did prefer this over Lancome because I get, I've had a fair number of Lancome gifts over the years and so I have a lot of those little small eyeshadow palettes. So anyway, it comes with a little card that can sort of help you figure out where to put the colors. Um, it comes in a really shiny, uh, in fact, it's so shiny, this case, it gets fingerprints, but it also um, is actually a, a, a mirror, even though there's a mirror on the inside. Now, I will tell you that one of the things that I noticed right off about this, and I'm okay with this, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna use it, but do you see this indention here? It's like when somebody was putting this together or closing it or some machinery was closing, however it's made, it, it wiped across this one. And it, it was a pretty good size indention. So, and here's the little, I don't use these, but it's good to have it if you're traveling and you need it. These things actually tend to fall apart. So I think the colors are pretty. Um, so here's what they look like. And we're going to take a look at these these colors. And I like that it comes in this little pouch, too. That's really neat. So I'm happy with this choice. So we're going to look at the, these colors and see what they look like. I don't have this on today. I have something else on. So here's the colors. The lightest one, the next one, and then these other ones. Now, I'm probably not going to get as much use out of this one. I'm going to definitely like these first two. And I could see myself using the third one as well. Okay, now this is a light palette. So this is the colors, they're, they're not really showing up very much. I'm gonna do it again. It has a really nice feel to it. Now, I actually don't care to have um, really colorful eyeshadows. Now there they are, that's the best I can do with it. And so, you know, this one, I think I'm gonna get the most use out of these first two, and maybe this one sort of accenting my, my upper lash line over toward the corner. But this one here does nothing for me. And there it is. This just looks like I have like problems with my eye color. <laughs> Um, I, these darker colors just don't do anything for me because I'm actually having to put on um, like a lightener because as I've gotten older, um, I noticed that my eyelids have gotten a little bit darker and I have to bring them back to just a, an even color so that, that we can work with eyeshadow and get like the true colors of eyeshadow. So anyway, this is a nice palette and I'm happy to have it. Okay, so the next item. Um, so I wanted the Bobbi Brown Lux Matte Lipstick, which is a $41 lipstick and it was gonna be in the nude shade. And that was all gone the second time. And then it cho they chose for me this Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. 
Now, this card here is incorrect because I've looked this up. It says that this product is a $43 product. That's not true. It's a $24 product. In fact, this particular color is on, on the uh, Stilla website on sale for $15. So this is the color Valentina here. I did have this on earlier today and you know, I have to tell you, I have had Stilla in the past and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it's a matte and it just does, it's not comfortable on my lips. I don't know whether the one here um, I got is dried out. It's really a very creamy, there it is. Look how bright that is. So this is a red, red color. So, um, you know, I'm gonna try to make it work when I'm wearing something that'll go with that. Uh, and it does, it stays on pretty well. Again, I don't know whether the one I got is a little bit dried out, but I don't think it is because I've had these that I've bought directly from Macy's and it just has a very, it's a creamy formula, but it, it gives you the, the appearance or it makes you think, okay, this is an old lipstick. Um, but it, I think it's more what the formula is. So there's the color in the tube and there's the color. Okay. So I will try to get use out of it. It's not, I would prefer the, the one from Bobby is Bobby Brown and that would have been a good one. Okay. So also I could have gotten the Bare Minerals uh, Luxe Performance brush. I didn't need another brush, even though they have, Bare Minerals has good brushes or a Cover XFX Shimmer Veil. Okay, so the next choices, and this could have been in with this other group, I'm not sure, were a NARS Cosmetics Blush, a Beauty for Certain Matte Lipstick, or the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in several, there was two to choose from. There was the Plum, and there was the Intense Pink. I chose the Intense Pink. I do have this on today. I really like it. So I put on a lip liner and then I put this on and it just has a nice, it's a lightweight cream oil with color and shine. It does have color to it. It does, I think, stay fairly well for a lip oil. And this is what it looks like. I've already got my fingerprints on it. Here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna put this a little bit of it on. It does look really dark there, but it's not really that dark. Not when it's on the lips. So there's what it looks like. It's, it's this one here. Now you can put on less and spread it out and it's not, it's not as dark. That's probably more representative of what it's like on my lips. So I am really happy to have this. Does it smell? It smells like berries. Okay, so this is a good one. And this is, this is a $28 product. So also in that category was the NARS Precision Lip Liner, I think. Okay, so the next category was the All May Healthy Hue Blush, which I thought I chose. Um, a hard candy energizing primer veil. And I think those were the two choices. And I don't know how I got this hard candy primer veil because I didn't choose it. And I think maybe the other choice, and this is an $11.95 product. So I, I think that I don't know. They just ended up choosing things. I'm sure I didn't choose this because I didn't need another primer. But anyway, I'm still gonna, it says it's got vitamin C and a 12 hour wear. It helps brighten skin and it has citrus extract. It's lightweight and refreshing. Well, you know, I'm gonna try it, um, but I don't know how I ended up with it. Now I didn't really need the All May Healthy Hue Blush because I have plenty of blush. Um, so anyway, I don't know how it happened, but that's what we got. Okay, so then they had a choice of this Retro Liner by Gavasi Beauty, which I just, that didn't appeal to me, but this did. This is by CoverGirl, and it's the Exhibition 24-Hour Coal 
eyeliner and this is a gold color and it's called gold metallic and this is a $10.99 product covergirl of course is one that you can get um, at walmart or the at the grocery store i don't know about the grocery store but you can get it at um at most like drug stores so let's see what this looks like Okay, there's the, what it looks like, gold. This really looked interesting for fall, too. Look at that. Okay, I'm excited about this. I really like this. So, don't have it on today, but I definitely am gonna get some use out of this. It's very creamy. I don't know how well it stays, but it's very creamy. Okay, so the other thing that, and I don't recall because it's been so long, I got, I did an add-on, and it's this, NARS Summer Solstice. By the way, these products, the five products together, I paid about $35 plus shipping and handling. And they, uh, the price, the value of it was $118. And that's after I adjusted for the Stilla being the correct price of $24. Um, even though on sale it's 15 I, I went ahead and gave it credit for 24 because that's the regular price. It's that just that particular shade was one that was on sale, which sort of says to me maybe it was discontinued. I don't know. But anyway, so I got, and I don't know, and I haven't been able to find for the add-on, and I know it probably wouldn't have been over $20, and I'm sure it was more than 10 um, I would not have paid over $20 for an add-on. But do you see this? It's beautiful. It's by NARS. And this is the uh, Shimmer, so no, it's the Summer Solstice Eyeshadow Palette. It's absolutely beautiful. I do have this on today. And I don't remember, it's been, it was like two months ago and I don't remember exactly how it came about except I think it was an add-on. Here's the colors, they're pretty. These are pretty fall colors. So the two that I have on are this one and this one. Um, this is sort of um, under the brow bone and right in the inner corner of the eye and right at the beginning of the, the eyelid here. And then this color I have um, more in, in this, this area here. And there's just so much to do with it. I'm going to really enjoy this palette, especially it says it's a summer solstice palette. Um, and I think this is a pretty good fall palette. So we're going to take a look at some of these colors. I'm going to start on the bottom row. This is the bottom row here. Look at that. This is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at those colors. That is absolutely beautiful there. Okay, so let's go to the next row. Now, of course, I'm probably not going to use as much of the really, really dark ones. But I will use the... Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. So there's one, two, three, four, five. It's like, hmm, there's two mattes. There are some that are shimmery, more shimmery than others, but um, they're mostly, uh, they're mostly got to have a little bit of a shimmer to them. Okay, that's the second row there. Isn't that pretty? And so we do the last row. To find a different spot for this. So this is a $49 palette. I looked it up. Okay, there's the last row there. So that's really pretty. I'm gonna try to put it up next to the others so I can see it next to the others. I am really happy with this. So I don't remember what it cost, but it's actually the the product I think I like best. There it is. Okay, all of it together. That's really, really pretty. I'm very, very happy to have that. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see what happens this month. Um, I. I think I'm generally good with what I got. Um, I'm going to use some things more than others in here. I know I'm going to use this. I know I'm going to use this palette by uh, Clarence. I know I'm going to use this 
eyeliner here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not so sure if I'm going to use that, uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a try, and probably going to get the least amount of use out of out of this. So I really would have liked the one, um, the one I picked originally first. So I'm not sure how that happened, but I think the next time before I go and do choice again like that and lose the things that I had in there. Now I've learned my lesson. I'll email them to see if, you know, if I, what's what that, why that's happening. So I don't end up losing the choices that I, I wanted because I would have really preferred this Bobbi Brown lipstick. Um, I may have to use some of my Macy's points on that. I have some Macy's points to, to, I have I don't think I have any Bobbi Brown, but it really seemed like it was a nice lipstick and and I wanted to try it. So anyway, that's everything. Um so overall I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So um that's it for now. Thank you for stopping by and have a great day.